So something that I'm always finding myself doing is trying to stick a element in my sidebar or my blog post so that when people are scrolling my blog post, I have something front and center there, whether it's an ad or it's my email opt-in form. I always want to do that. And I was actually using a plugin to achieve that that used JavaScript. And I'm going to show you that in a second. But using Bricks Builder, we can actually set this up without having to use any plugins or run JavaScript. And it's very, very easy. Now, I actually need to do this on my website right now. So I thought I would put it here in the video because you might find it helpful because I struggled a little bit to get it working. And now that I know how to do it, it, it is so easy. You just got to know where to click in Bricks Builder. So I want to show you that how to sticky an element in your sidebar using Bricks. So here we are on my blog, wagepirate.com. And if I go to my blog page and then we go down and I click on a blog post, if I scroll down and down and down, this here, want to make more money with your WooCommerce website. If people click on this, that opens up an opt-in form and they can opt in to join my mailing list. So the reason that I have it there is people will land from Google onto a blog post. They'll read the blog post. Maybe you'll read the blog post. And then you might like the content in there and say, you know what? I want to actually get more of this content. How, how do I get more of this? I want to learn more. And so I want to have this front and center so that people can opt in at any time to receive my tip. Now, this is actually using the JavaScript plugin because I didn't know how to do it with Bricks, but I actually found it out this morning. So if we have a look here and inspect element, we can see that this has an ID, so sidebar hyphen fixed, and you know, it's a top 80, the position is fixed. But if you scroll up, see how it goes position relative. And as we scroll down, it goes position fixed. That's using JavaScript. Now, I don't want to use JavaScript because again, this is a, a built-in feature inside Bricks Builder now. So let's go ahead and disable this plugin that uses JavaScript and recreate it using Bricks Builder. So firstly, let's go ahead and go to my dashboard. So I'll go to dashboard and then I'm going to go down to plugins and then installed plugins. And then let's go and find that plugin and it is called fixed widget, which is here. So this fixed widgets on scroll. Uh, if you go to settings and we go down here, basically how it works is you just set the uh, div. So the ID of the HTML element you want to stick and then it, it works. It worked pretty well, but there's a better way now with Bricks. So let's go ahead and go back here and I'm just going to deactivate this plugin. And then let's go back to our blog post and I'm just going to refresh this and let's scroll down and down and see that's disabled. So it's not sticking. So let's go ahead and set that up in Bricks. So to do that, we're going to go back to the dashboard and go to Bricks and then template. And then I'm going to go find that template. So it's this one here. So the template type is a single. So it's affecting my single post layouts under the conditions where the post type is my blog post or product reviews. So this is the one that we want to edit. So let's go ahead and edit with Bricks Builder. And now we're going to be in the Bricks editor and you can sort of see how this is set up. I have this post content module. So again, if I go up here and go content, this is actually a module you drag into the page and then this will output my Gutenberg content in its place here. And then everything around it, I'm designing here in Bricks in the template. So the first thing that we need to do is specify the element that I want to sticky on scroll. So it's going to be here. So I'm going to click into it and go down and down. And this is going to be the container I want to stick on scroll. So I'm going to rename this and I'm just going to call this get my tips. And then let's go ahead and set this to sticky. So to do that, we click to edit this container and then here under style and then layout. If we go down, we'll see position and here we want to go position and we'll click here and we'll do sticky. So if you've never seen position sticky before, it is in fact a CSS thing that you can select. So like static, which is your default, where you can set something to be relative or absolute or fixed. Sticky is just another one that you can set. So we're going to set this to sticky. And then when you do that, you must set a top here. So I'm going to set this to one pixel for now. But Bricks Builder does a good job of putting this notice in there so you don't forget. Because if you forget, it could drive you a little crazy wondering why it's not working. So let's go ahead and save that. And now this container is set to position sticky one pixel from the top. But what is actually important to note at this point is this isn't enough to get this working. So if we go to the front end of our website, and we refresh the page here and we scroll down and down and down. Notice how that isn't working. Now, this took me, this was a tricky part for me. The parent element of this one that we want to sticky must have a height set. So to do that, if we go back into here, I'm just going to collapse some of these for now just to make it a bit easier to follow along. We need to give this parent a height so that our stickied element has a reference point to stick to. So the easiest way to do that in Bricks Builder is we're going to click on the parent element and then I'm going to go back up here and go to content. And now what I want to point out at this stage is if we click on primary, this container, notice the green box shows us 
where this primary container's bounding box is. You can see it starts here and it ends here. But if we click on the sidebar, notice how the sidebar starts here and it ends only here. So we want to make this sidebar stretch the height of our primary content area. And it's very easy to do it in Bricks because Bricks uses Flexbox. So all we need to do to achieve that is click on the parent. And then here we click on stretch. And now if we hover back on the sidebar, notice how it's stretching the full height of the primary content area. So see how they're both equal now? And that's the, that's all we need to do. It's very simple, but it just took me a little bit to work out what was happening. And it was because you need to do this. You need to give the sidebar a height. So now if we save this and we go back to the front end of our website and we refresh, when we scroll down now and down now, notice how that's sticking at the top. Now on the front end for a logged out user where they don't have the admin bar, this is going to look pretty good. But if we go back here and we want to add some more spacing, I'm just going to click click back into the sidebar, get my tips, style, and then down here, sticky from the top, I might say 30 and then go save and then just refresh this and then scroll down. And now that's stickied where we want it to be. And again, at any time, someone can click that and opt into my email list. So as you can see, it's really easy to do in Bricks Builder. You don't need any extra plugins. This is pure CSS and it's all done using the Bricks interface. So now that you know how to sticky something in your sidebar in Bricks Builder without using any plugins and just CSS, what I would recommend doing now is watching this video here where I show you how to prevent things from breaking the Bricks editor because it's happened to me and it might happen to you if you don't know how to use this function. So I'm going to leave a link to that video. It should be on the screen now. I'll see you guys in that video.